Kim and Annabelle here and it is very very early. Annabelle has started getting up early which I'm not a huge fan of so I like got out of the shower. Once again no makeup. I'm also trying to just like not put anything on my face besides like some moisturizer and stuff so this is the all natural look. Annabelle is still in her ice cream <laughs> jammies but I did want to start the video off with a little taste test because I went to the store yesterday and I found these birthday cake mini donuts. So I had to buy them. So we're gonna have donuts for breakfast. You okay with that? Yeah, I think so. You guys know I love donuts and I'm kind of a sucker for anything birthday cake flavored. Although I feel like birthday cake stuff never really tastes like birthday cake stuff doesn't smell like birthday cake. Literally just smells like a cake donut, but it's really pretty. It has like little crunchy, sprinkly bits on it. Anybody you gonna come try one? Yeah. No, turning down a donut, okay. I get zero. <laughs> birthday cake flavor. It's not bad. I mean, it's good. It tastes like a vanilla cake donut with some little crunchy bits, but not birthday cake. A little disappointed. I will eat them. I would not buy them again. I would not really recommend them. I don't know, six out of 10. So, <laughs> I don't know, um, not great, not awful. But what's going on today? Not too much. I am now 18 weeks pregnant, which is super crazy. Nothing else really symptom wise, except I am feeling munchkin move around like crazy, like all the time, especially at night when I'm like going to bed or if I eat something sweet, like probably gonna move now. If I eat sugar, <laughs> munchkin like moves, which is kind of cool, um, but I can like, feel it like Jim can feel it and you can see it like if you look you can see munchkin like punching kicking that kind of thing which is really really cool and it's just reassuring you know because I'm worrying a lot and so anytime I feel munchkin moving I feel good about things but other than that nothing too exciting going on today is just gonna be kind of a random vlog have some work to do I'm gonna try to get to the gym at some point but that's about it so if you're interested in the rest of my day, stay tuned. So I feel like this is already turning into a taste testing video, but I got these bars from a company called Xander Bar, and they just have three flavors, I think, but I'm gonna try them all for you because they're pretty interesting. So there's chocolate chunk cookie dough, normal enough, raspberries and cream, a little different, and then there's savory Italian tomato pizza. And I can smell it. Like, it smells like a pizza shop. And I'm kind of scared, but kind of really, really interested. So, they seem like they're kind of like a Quest Bar, only a lot softer. Um, macros are like similar, a little bit less calories, but like 24 grams of protein. Yeah, um, but they're kind of small. So we're gonna try them all. I'm gonna save this one for last. But let's start with chocolate chunk cookie dough because I feel like that's gonna be the most normal one. The packaging is like really hard to open though, so that's why I brought some scissors. Oh, there we go. Maybe I don't need them, okay. Yeah, they're definitely Quest Bar-like, but a lot softer and stickier. So here is what it looks like. Yeah, I see it's like, taffy like so this is chocolate chunk cookie dough yeah it smells pretty good it smells very chocolatey oh, was... mm. it's very sticky like I feel like it's stuck on my teeth like that is Almost impossible to chew. It gets so stuck in your teeth. Mm. Uh-uh. Nope. 
and the flavor is not very good either. You can really taste, like, I don't know if you've ever made homemade protein bars with, like, protein powder and that, um, syrup stuff. What's it called? The fiber syrup. Um, that's all it tastes like, is, like, some protein powder and sticky syrup. So, let's go ahead and try the raspberries and cream. What the heck? This one is, like, bright red. <laughs> like, that is a bright red bar. Same texture. Smells really strong raspberry. No. It's that, I'm just all stuck in my teeth. And the flavor is not good. No. Oh my God. All right, we gotta try it. Pizza protein bar. And it's weird, like the bottom is like really hard. You hear that? And the top is really gooey. Almost like the bottom part was baked. It smells so much like pizza. I don't want to finish it. Mm -mm. There's something so wrong about that. <laughs> it's like, it tastes like cheese, but in a weird protein bar texture. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Xander Bar. I really appreciate it, but um, I got a little bit of work to do, <laughs> I think. Definitely would not say that the pizza protein bar has been perfected, but um, yeah, so that's my little little protein bar review for the morning. I'm gonna go get something to drink and I'll see you guys in a bit. So we were having this problem where Sadie was eating Annabelle's crayons. Like literally if she let a crayon sit on the floor for two seconds, Sadie would eat it. So I found these at the dollar store yesterday and they're really cool. They're like in plastic and they twist up and she really likes them and Sadie can't eat them. Also, if you guys have any like big poster boards like this, it's really fun for two year olds to color on and slide on. She likes to like slide on it. I don't know. But anywho, I thought I would just share these with you. They were literally a dollar and Annabelle loves them, right? Do you love them? Yeah, and now we don't have, see, the only crayon we had left was a black crayon because Sadie ate them all, so now she can make her poster board a little bit more colorful. So literally two days ago, we spent $200 to get our couch cleaned, although I don't know why because we keep blankets all over it, but I go upstairs to get some laundry and Annabelle colored all over the couch with the one and only crayon we have left, the black crayon. Did you color on the couch? Cool. Yeah, we don't do that. No. We color on the paper. Oh. Okay. But I really, I mean, I can't be really too mad at her. Um, that's why we just put Whoa. blankets that's all over our couch because we have pets, we have kids, and that's just how it is. We can't have nice things anymore. So if anybody knows what you can use to get crayon off of a tweed couch, please let me know. Um, I'm gonna try just like some Clorox wipes or something, or we'll just do that. <laughs> there, problem solved. All right, Annabelle, you wanna say bye? Bye. So I recently got this awesome package from Zevia, which is like a healthy pop. So there's like no artificial colors, sweeteners, you know, all that stuff that some people try to avoid. So I got root beer, grape, and cream soda, and orange pop, which is out here actually. I'm working with them to do a giveaway. Not sure if it is up yet or not. Come on, Sadie. But I just wanted to show you guys 
my setup and show you how much effort I really put into my Instagram photos. So here's the orange pop and we have it in there and then I did frozen orange slices instead of ice cubes. That way when it melts, it's not like watered down and it just tastes better. So frozen fruit instead of ice cubes is a good idea in drinks. Um, and then I just cut up some orange slices, got some fancy straws that kind of match the green. Like I really, really thought this out. And then we got the yellow and they snapped. I only need one photo and I probably just took 30, but that's usually what I do. And then I go through and I find the good one. So just want to show you guys a little behind the scenes. Got my little helper here. She's not so annoying because I don't have any food. If I have food here, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Sadie, your ear is messed up. You look silly. All right, I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Guys, it is such a gorgeous day. I try to like take advantage of the lighting outdoors. So I also work with Smart Shake, the shaker company, and I'm doing a post just where I'm kind of showing all of my drink mixes because you guys know I can't drink water without flavors so I thought that'd be just kind of a fun little Instagram post see if anyone else out there has the same addiction with me this is my favorite flavor though this green which one is it here the green berry first it's actually just like strawberry kiwi but here's some of my other favorites I'm liking these lemonade ones this one's really good it's like a blue something or other I don't know Blueberry acai, there's just, there's so many of them. I usually buy them at the dollar store. Um, and there's like some energy ones too, which have caffeine in them, which I still do, just like one a day if I'm gonna work out or something. Where's the one weird one? These I bought at Walmart. These are actually pretty good, honeydew melon. Um, and this one actually has no artificial sweeteners, colors, or flavors, which is cool. But they're a lot more expensive, so I usually just buy the, um, the cheap ones. But Got that picture done, and now I think we're done. Right, Sadie? All done? Yeah. So here, just to show you real quick what I go through for Instagram. So I took 52 photos, 52. So there's all the Zevia and the Smart Shaker, and I only need two photos. I only need one of each. So I have to go through, see which one looks the best, see which one fits the best, and we'll be done with that. But now I have to go clean up my little mess since I had to open <laughs> all of these boxes. See guys, this is what I this is what I do for the Instagram. Um, I will say, you know, Instagram is a hobby. I enjoy it. I love it, but it's also kind of a job for me. Um, I do make some money at it with some of the companies I work with. So, you know, this time that I'm spending doing this is is worth it to me and it's fun. I really do enjoy it. But I think what I'm gonna do is just take these that are all opened rather than put them back in the boxes and just like put them in here and then I'll just have my like mix of drinks and they'll all just be in one place and it'll be like a fun, a fun thing every time I go to get one. If they're all, they're not all gonna fit in here. <laughs> I might need a bigger Tupperware. But you guys don't care about that, I don't think. Um, I'm gonna go get this all cleaned up and I'll see you in a right, bit. So I have had Quite a few people asked to see the baby bump, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, I watch a lot of those videos, like 18 week, 19 week um, updates, and I find them very interesting, and I like seeing people's bumps. So I'm getting ready to go to the pool with Annabelle, actually, hence the bathing suit. And so I figured this would be a good time to show you. And I'm actually almost 19 weeks. I said 18 weeks earlier, but tomorrow I'll actually be 19 weeks. So we'll just call this the 19 week bump. So here is from the front. Don't mind I have like a tan line right here from when I was laying out. So there's the front. There's the side. So it's it's there. It's not huge by any means, but there is definitely definitely a bump there. Definitely a little baby growing in there. So that is that. Maybe I'll do one again at like 24 weeks or something when it's a little bit more pronounced and you can see it better. But we're gonna go to the pool and I will see you when we get home. All right, so I did make it to the gym. 
I was not very happy about it, but I did feel good afterwards. I just, after I'm like out in the sun at the pool and stuff, I don't feel like putting on workout clothes and getting sweaty. But I watched a couple YouTube videos, the time went pretty quickly and I do feel good. So now we need to make up for lost calories with donuts. So we're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I've just been wanting donuts like every day. I actually went to Dunkin' Donuts yesterday with Annabelle and my dad and now I want another one. So we're gonna go do that. Uh, what are you gonna get? A donut probably. A donut, very original. Do you have anything like in mind? I mean, the vanilla cream is always my favorite. Vanilla cream is really good. I Not did, really craving anything. I did, or we did, try the cake batter, and it is really good. But it's not my favorite, because it's like a pudding texture, and I just don't like that texture. But it does taste like cake batter, and it is good, and it's definitely worth getting at least one to try. But um, last night, I got the chocolate cream, like powdered donut with chocolate cream in the middle, and I wasn't a fan. I don't like it. I really like the vanilla, so that's probably what I'm gonna get. But who knows? Annabelle is a fan of the vanilla cream. It's like everybody's favorite. What if we all get vanilla cream? Craziness. All right, so I am so excited because they made me a special donut. It was in a recent video, one of you guys asked like what my dream donut would be, and I always say it would be vanilla cream with maple frosting, so I asked if they would make me one, and they did, and I am so, so excited. I love the vanilla filling, but I also love the maple frosting, and it's going to be the perfect, perfect donut. And then Annabelle, what did you get? Got her vanilla cream, which she's just picking the icing out. Why don't you take a bite? There you go. We're figuring out this donut thing. And Jim, being the Buckos fan that he is, got a pirate's donut. Are you super excited? So excited. Not as excited as Annabelle. Not as excited as I am. See, look up, and they even put in a cute little box. I am so excited. So, I am going to get in focus. There we go. I am going to end the video here. We're gonna go enjoy some donuts, and it's almost eight o'clock, which is like bath time, bedtime for Annabelle very soon. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, give it a thumbs up, leave me a fun comment down below, and we'll see you next time. Say bye.